Warriors uh, today because it is May the 6th, uh, which uh, kind of counts as uh, May the 6th or May the 6th. Um, I'm doing Star Wars, uh, uh, Star Wars Battlefront 2. And so, uh, we're gonna be playing some, uh, game modes. So, uh, let's go to multiplayer. Uh, maybe because I haven't really ever played, uh, Starfighter Assault, I am gonna do that. Looking for a game to play. Anyone on currently? And it's Buck. Buck's on, but nobody else really on. Okay. We got your uh, we got a match already. So this is uh one of the this Star Wars Battlefront is um is actually a a game that I've played since I was a kid. Um, it, those of you that have never played any games on PS2, I'm looking at you, uh, kids younger than me, <laughs> kids younger than 15. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, but, um, I, I, I'm bittersweet about being considered a millennial, because we get a bad rep. Not all of us are, have, were born at the the time that all the major stuff was going on on the internet um i was i mean back then there wasn't much of a multiplayer i mean the internet wasn't what it is today where you could google something and it's right there you can look up on youtube on where to find uh, information about a game or to do something you had to learn how to do it yourself oh i'm playing separatist but um uh Okay. Oh, whoops. It picked for me. Okay. Oh, whoa, whoa, hello. Okay. Okay, that's a... Oh, oh, okay. I'm trying to relearn my controls here. But, uh, one of the things I learned... Whoa! Whoa, hello! Whoa! Apparently I can. I can't lock lock on for crap. Republic cruiser has sustained critical Whoa. damage. Continue fire. Republic bombers inbound. Intercept attack run. Oh! Actually, after burners. Destroyed. I am not the best pundit in the world. One of the things I should majorly point out Detecting is that damage, uh, is the uh, is that I grew up I grew up when when uh, the when you know the internet was still very much young you know when destroyed continue general defense oh okay yeah, I grew up where the internet was very young. That should it? Um, yeah, I grew up where the internet was very young. It didn't have the amount of stuff it has today. You know, it it just it isn't what it is now, and and so. I didn't have much in the way of, you know, there wasn't much of an online game, and so online gaming usually meant, uh, usually meant, you know, So, yeah, you know, you know, online gaming wasn't what it is today. 
Oh, speeding out of here. The cock looking. And so it, it wasn't orders like, prevent Republic forces from destroying communications array. Whoa. I wish I could like speed out of here like you have no clue. Enemy bombers destroyed. Ah. Uh. Yes! Did I destroy it? I think I did. Ha ha ha! I blew him up! Either way, uh, what I was saying is that... The, the um... Is that... The internet really wasn't what it is today. It, it... I mean, I couldn't look up a walkthrough on YouTube or anything. There wasn't much of a multiplayer. I mean, yes, there was World of Warcraft growing up, but I didn't play it. Cause, pretty much because I didn't have the computers necessary to do so. Hello! Whoa! Wrong buttons! Whoa! Whoa! Warning! Republic bombers are firing on our forces. No kidding, dude! I have no clue what I'm doing here. <laughs> um, yeah, the, the internet isn't what it is today. And so, there wasn't much of an online. What was online wasn't, you know, the level of gaming we have today. He really wasn't. And so, often, gaming was heavily reliant, you know, online gaming was heavily reliant on, on what servers were available to you. And so, you know, and if you didn't have, you know, the ability to play on those servers, you weren't able to play. That's just how it was. And I didn't have the ability to play them as a kid. And so, what, and also another thing. If you had, you, it was also heavily reliant on you being able to plug your, 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 you know, your system, if you had a online form of your system, it, you know, it was reliant. Whoa, buddy! But, uh, and so if you had a game system that you could play on, um, ch uh, and play online with, like a game that had the ability to do so, did that type of gaming was heavily reliant on you not getting calls during your gaming. Back then, if you got a phone call while gaming, that meant you literally could not play because your internet was interrupted by someone giving you a call. And that's how it was. And so, and so I didn't have the ability to hook my system up to a... Taking aim. Oh, dang it. I think I just got ioned. Danger. Enemy bombers incoming. Alert. Control tower disabled. Reactor uh. exposed. Urgent. Concentrate all efforts on defense. Target eliminated. Whoa. So, gaming wasn't. I mean, if you wanted to play, that uh, had like a level of online gaming. You were. You basically had to be able to play a game without getting interrupted. Republic bombers eliminated. Bombing run canceled. Yeah, if you could game without. Interruption, then you were pretty good. You know, you had a pretty good internet, or you just didn't have a life. But the, but, but the, uh, sorry, I'm not the greatest of all time. So, I didn't have that ability as a kid. I didn't have the ability to play online. So, 
I mean, I wish I did, but now we have this ability, just like almost regularly. We didn't, I mean, what ability I had to gain wasn't, you know, online, and that just wasn't a thing as when I was a kid. And I loved Star Wars Battlefront 2 because it was like online, I mean, Star Wars Battlefront, the original games. That's what I mean. The original games of, this, okay, this is what I'm getting to. The original games of the Star Wars Battlefront series we're basically online without the online. Let's turn this around. Battle's not over yet. And so, and so, shields online. Blast doors closing. Defend the control tower. And so the, you know, my level of gaming wasn't what would be it would be norm today ah, but uh and so uh, you know I just I loved it I loved it as a kid because it was a level of gaming that 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 you know it it's that I haven't seen since the original two Star Wars Battlefront 2 games the original two Star Wars Battlefront games was uh was Star Wars Battlefront one, then Star Wars Battlefront two, made by AE. No, I'm not sure, not AE. Lucas, Lucas Film. I mean, sorry, Lucas Arts. And they were that. I mean, those games were my best games at the time. I destroyed this. Nope, he's just moving in. And so, I grew up with those. And they were, they were, I loved them because it was like playing a game without, playing a game online without having the online part. Because it was basically, you went in there with an X amount of much like this, and you had to deal with objective, oops, that's kind of counter measures. Whee! Okay, I'm like majorly in a bad spot now. We gotta get behind me somewhere. But either way, the, uh, the, uh, and so I grew up with the original Star Wars Battlefront games, and I loved them for what they were, and what they were were amazing games. in the thick of this and I shouldn't be here but uh the so whoa hello that probably cleared out a bunch of enemies but uh Is not the level we had today. Whoa! Almost hit him. Whoa! Did we win? Yes! Victory! Okay. What I was saying is that we. I loved the level of game we had at the time of Source Battlefront 1 and Source Battlefront 2, the originals. The originals were. Win a match and stuff for itself. The gaming we had was just interesting. It, it was, it was a good set of games, and they they really changed 
in my opinion, the type of gaming we had growing up. Yes, and and uh, and the gaming we had, in my opinion, was not RTS and first-person shooter. Starbuff One, Starbuff One Two were the first games I ever saw that made it like that. What I mean by this is that Star Wars Battlefront 1, Star Wars Battlefront 2 were games that you went in with an X amount of troops and you had control points, or in, in this case, command posts. They were your primary objective, the command posts. You captured them, hopefully holding all of them, and you would win by that way. But you also went in with a finite number of troops. And so that number of troops you went in with, those were the troops you went in with, period. Each, team, each side had the same amount, give or take. And so, and you went in with different troops and different ships, depending on the map. Your different ships and different troops, as far as I know, the ships don't count towards uh, 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 reinforcement costs, but the troops do. And you have different troops. You had your pilots, your, engine your engineers, your uh, vanilla soldiers, your snipers, your brutes, your rocket men, and your specialized units, and even rock rocket troopers, or jump troopers, each one of those troops focused on a specific task. Because you, they also had AIs. You didn't command them. Well, well, you could form a squad with them, and they will come to you, and they will go with you and follow your commands. But you also had, but these troops also had AIs. They would focus, depending on their AI, on, on one particular uh, one particular task. Snipers, they would hang back at a longer range and and uh, and you know uh, and they would basically uh, you know snipe. They they would do what snipers do. They snipe from afar. <laughs> and then he had a uh, uh, your engineers, they would focus on repairing modules and various, uh, you know, various things. They didn't, they didn't focus much, and they would also give, basically your support unit. Your normal soldiers, they did what normal soldiers do. They go in, they fight. That's what they did. And so, also going to be playing some Galactic Assault. And so, another thing that they did, uh, another group you had were your bruisers. They were basically like a souped up version of your normal soldiers. Uh, but they could take more hits, they were more durable, they also had more powerful weapons. They each, I believe each unit costs the same amount of reinforcements. And then you also had like your uh, anti-tank guys, your guys with the rocket launchers. They focus on anti-vehicle and basically setting up mines and whatnot. They didn't focus on much else. And your engineers would also focus on piloting as well depending on the map. And so you had each of these areas with these different troops that focused on specific tasks while also fighting off the enemies which had their troops doing specific tasks. And I love that about those two games because here you are with an entire army fighting on the same battlefield trying to win. And the enemy AIs were not dumb in the slightest. They were basically as smart as your AI, as your ally AIs. Which, be in mind, your ally AIs were not dumb at all. I mean, I mean, I've been killed many times by by you know by you know an opponent coming out of nowhere, you know, having doing his job. You know, and I loved that because it showed me that that because it was one of those few games that made it clear that that uh oh, okay, this is an interesting gun, but uh it made it clear that that uh to secure the landing pad. that uh that, you know, these AIs for the game were not that dumb. In fact, they were, they were pretty smart. You know, they knew that, they, when they saw you, they knew that you were not an enemy AI. When they saw you, they knew you were not an ally. I mean, they wouldn't just sit there 
and, you know, take a shot, they would actually actively sh try to kill you. I mean, it's not like they ignored you as an opponent. I don't even shoot with a sniper rifle. Yep, sniper rifle. And looks like I'm going to be sniping. <laughs> I'm not much of a specialist user, but eh, I use them when I can. Uh, we have the, you know, the... We have the, uh, the enemies, they, they were not that, they were not that dumb. They were pretty, you know, meteorically smart for the time. And then you had, uh, and then you had, like, I've got this. had people, like, and you had, you know, but you also have games like Titanfall nowadays that, uh, that, uh, targeting the landing path to capture. And they, you know, they, you know, in Titanfall, I don't think the AIs were entirely smart. They, they, they just, I don't know what it was. They, they didn't seem to, you know, Let's really take. smartly, you know, attack, you know. I would literally be right on top of an enemy grunt or specter, and he wouldn't really shoot me, <clears throat> which is, which I found the weirdest thing. I mean, it was like really. I'm like standing right on top of you, and you're you don't even know I'm there. Hey, those are allies. Whoa, shoot! Who's shooting me? Landing pad secure. Reactor control is all that remains in this sector. And I can hit him here. Oh! Oh, you little pooper. Yeah, and it's like, I just, I have never, I have hardly ever seen another game that, that did something like that. And, and I was really glad to have a game like that. That, that, that was basically, you had decently, IQ, you know, an I AI, both ally and enemy AI, that was decently smart. Control. They weren't dumb in Disperse any regard. The they weren't necessarily smart, but they were pretty good at what they do. And, and, you know, they proposed a decent challenge. Wow, I can't believe I just like flipping. Oh wow, I just like, I could not hit that guy. Save my life. Ha ha ha! I gotcha! Patrolling reaction. But uh, it was just one of those really interesting games that. I never thought I'd like, but it was a Star Wars game, and I gave it a shot, and it really did not disappoint. And and it was one of those games that the battle could literally go two ways. It wasn't that it wasn't like you know you were guaranteed the win or the enemy was guaranteed the win, you know, depending on the map. Yeah, you know, I mean, sure, yes, certain, oh, seriously, certain, you know, uh, you know, certain factions had an 
ad slight advantage depending on on the world, but those advantages were not necessarily guarantees of victory. It was one of those games that the that the the actual outcome of the battle could go so many ways. Outer perimeter secure. Push forward. We're going deeper into the wreckage. And so that's what I love about it. You know, the you, know you weren't guaranteed victory, nor were you expected. guaranteed, you know, Seize the area and um, their After that, we'll track you know, and there was slaughter. no guarantee of victory, and there was no guarantee of loss. The, depending on how your troops, you know, fought against the enemy, your battle could go two ways. And that was the only cons constant, was that the battle could go either way, depending on... Yeah, you think I'm... We have an elite operative on site. Dang, got him. Whoa, what the heck just shot me? Ah, oh, he got me with that grenade. But uh it was just one of those really interesting games that I really liked. Okay, uh what do we got here? Uh I don't want to go back in with this, but uh, it was just a really interesting game. Barrage. And I was just surprised on how how differently the match could go, without out depending. Okay, I don't think I got anything out of that. Ah! Oh. Yeah, it's just, I love that idea. That my battle on... in that game could go so many ways. Just depending on the bat, you know, just depending on the how, you know, how the enemy, how they're fighting, you know, and it, it even sometimes hinged on you, you know, you were one of the factors of the battle, almost like you were, you know, how you played and how they played, it all affected, regardless of, oh shoot, it's Luke! Ah! Thing turrets. But uh, I just really liked it. Yeah, let's go, officer. Yeah, I've heard the word officer, so. An elite operative is deployed. Order for fight. Overtime.
Oh! Rocket launcher! Of course! Aerial available. I don't want an aerial though. Uh, no! There. No! Ah! Dang it! Okay, so this is going to be my reinforced sentry. So, yeah, it's just really liked it. Ah, defeat. I think it did get my uh, troop. The resistance has escaped. The Imperial droid is gone. Now its secrets belong to the enemy. Oh, lovely. Aren't you just a lovely little ray of sunshine? Yeah, it's just, I really liked it as a game. <laughs> but, uh, I don't really think the, 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 uh, you know, games like, you know, you know, you know, just, I don't think games like, I don't think these the two games that came out recently, the Star Wars Battlefront one made by AE, Star Wars Battlefront two made by AE. I don't think they did originals justice. You know, everyone thinks of these games now, but it's just like I love the originals because I haven't seen a style like this, and I know Star Wars Battlefront two made by AE pays homage to that because you have game modes like this that pretty much makes it you know, very, very similar. And I like that. I like that it pays homage to them. And I just wish they did more about it. I mean... I mean, it's just one of those, like... 
I said enough. They they, they could uh, could have done more. They really could have. But enough about that. Uh, let's go to my heavy. Hold on. Hold on, guys. Uh, sorry. Had a sneeze. Uh, let's see. Is anyone on currently? Uh, doesn't look like what's his face is on right now. Fire side. So here's the situation. We came to Jakku to buy a droid from the scavengers. A vintage Imperial unit with data real important for the First Order. And we've got the droid. That's the good news. The bad news is the First Order's lending to everyone. Gotta hold off and figure out an extraction. Get to the landing pad and the old reactor control chamber and keep the troopers oh. out as long as you can. Gotcha. Oh, okay, so they got a sniper. No. Seriously? No, I got sniped. Of course I did. Mm, let me use my specialist. <laughs> okay. Whoa, hello. Buddies, let's get these guys. Okay. Oh, so good. That guy again. Specialist versus Let's specialist, huh? This is gonna be interesting. Look <laughs> at the specialist on my team. Another specialist <laughs> and a heavy. They won't see me. We're giving up the landing pad. Everyone to reactor control. Son of Ah oh. Dang it. If I had known he was coming my way. Uh huh. Specialist Ready. again. Oh, where am I? Jamming sensors. Into my spot. Oh shoot. Hold the line as long as you can. Ah. Oh. I really didn't have any grenades to deal with that. I'm surprised that thing didn't target me. Let's go to my heavy. Got your back. <laughs> Thank you for the buff. Grenade up!
south, but they need time. We'll hold the first order of the supply hold for now. It's as good a choke point as any. Okay, let's go to another heavy. Oh, lovely. And the time to... Oh, shoot. That's not an ally, I don't think. Oh, shoot. something to do with those guys. We need some flipping heavies, man. Like myself. Go back to heavy. Yeah, let's go. Uh, well, um, Kylo Ren, much? I wish I had my gun out when I did. I'm with you. It's been a while since I played this, so uh, bear with me. I'd like to wear.
Oh, return to the battlefield. Where was I supposed to be? Flame flipping trooper. Stop the bomb, guys. <clears throat> oh, okay. Come on, buddies. Get them. Turn deployed. Can you hear me? We secure the port ship. Disable the bomb. Twice. Make the thing? Nope. Ah, oh. man, that was not. Ah, oh. this is. Yes, I'm leaving. There we go. Okie dokie. Oh, hi, Lacey. Hi, Mindy. You're on here with me. And so, with this part of the game... Uh, let's see who is online right now. Uh, nobody right now. And our key's not on. <clears throat> Let me send Anarchy another message. Stations and our key. All
There we go. Okay. <clears throat> oh, and I apologize in advance to all of you. Uh. Uh. Yeah, I really do. I apologize in advance if my mic is echoing. I am. I hope to eventually get a new mic within like the year or you know maybe sometime early next year I do plan on getting a new mic so that I'm not echoing as much I am using a 360 mic with an adapter because well I'm cheap <laughs> but um I do promise that eventually get a new mic so I apologize for the echo if any so yeah also one of my complaints about uh, Star Wars Battlefront 2 and 1 that are made by AE, the long loading time. One of my major grievances with this is the loading time. And I just don't know what it, it is. Oh, right, I forgot I got that recently, so. Okay. Wars earned. Wards unlocked. Okay, collection. Let me check out my heavies. Oh, I got one scope point for him. Okay. Uh. 50 heavy kills. How many do I have currently? Okay. Brawler. Place impact grenade. Proof impact grenade. Proof combat shield. That's level thirty. Let me go to I don't have any of these for these, huh? Well, okay. Um It's hard to even use those, so, uh... Let's see, what can I even use these? So. I wish I could, like, modify these and then... Right, okay. Um, more powerful version of power featuring a larger blast radius and shorter recharge time. Whereas with a lock on the vehicle and deals high damage. Uh, let's go with the improved combat grenade. So, this equips that, okay. Okay. Let me see what I got on. Oh, 
How do I open? Uh. So I don't get any like new crates, I can't buy any. Well, either way, um, so now that I've shown you a couple of those games, um, we're gonna do some campaign. I have yet to complete the regular campaign, and I'm going to, well, start from, and from the beginning, this will erase existing save data. Um, well, let's uh, restart the campaign. Okay. And let's, uh, um, some story, scenery, and combat without difficulty. Well, let's go with Explorer, just because it's the level one difficulty. Because I want y'all to enjoy the game and not enjoy me dying repeatedly. <laughs> Yes, um, I do plan on doing more broadcasts of games in the future. I'm just starting out, so hopefully, um, hopefully I'll be able to play more games for you guys. Uh, so I've been playing Warframe quite frequently lately, and uh, so I'll be able to do more Warframe videos for you guys. Uh, hopefully some more videos of other games. I may just uh, do a couple of the games eventually. Hopefully. Long time ago on Agashi. Far, far away. You don't know the power. <sighs> well, I can always do this in a two-parter. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna have to stop the broadcast here, guys, because uh, Captain, my stepmom has the vacuum. So, I'll pause, I'll stop this, and I'll go into another game, and I'll come back to this when she's done vacuuming. <laughs>